Okay, so now we're going to start a new topic called relative frequency, and we're only going to have one um, one question on it because it's quite a quite a simple topic compared to some of the other ones. Um, so relative frequency, or it's sometimes called experimental probability, so that's just kind of a fancy term. Um, but so like in in all the questions we've done previously, um, the the question gave us all the information. They told us the probability of this, the probability of that. Mm we accepted it but sometimes in real life you won't have the exact probabilities of something happening and um, so you'll kind of have to guess so the idea is you look at the history of what happened and guess that the future will be the same so that's the basic idea behind um, relative frequency or experimental probability okay and we'll explain it with an example I guess so every night your mum watches 12 episodes of soap operas she watches four episodes of Fair City six episodes of Carnation Street and two episodes of East Enders so first question is what is the probability the first episode she watches is Carnation Street uh, and the question two if she only watches six episodes one night um, how many of each will she watch so we're going to use experimental probability to figure this one out so I will scroll down and make some space she watches 12 episodes so I will make a little um, grid so FC which is Fair City Carnation Street and then East Enders and then I'll just say total. Um, and make a little grid here. So she watches how many? Four episodes of Fair City, six Carnation Street, and two, which is twelve total. So those are, that's kind of the number of episodes. And then this here is going to be our or f, our relative frequency. So the way you figure this one out is you divide each one by the total. So it's going to be 4 over 12, um, or the relative frequency of that or the, is going to be um, 1 over 3, sorry, 1 over 3, and this one here is going to be 6 over 12, so the relative frequency is going to be a half, and this one here is 2 over 12, so the relative frequency is 1 over 6, and if you add 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6, you should get 1 as your total. Okay, so these are the relative frequencies that she watches each episode. So doing that, you don't, don't need to do it as, as a grid, but it is useful to figure out the relative frequencies, so it can help us to answer the, the questions. So I'll start with question one over here on the right. What is the probability that the first episode she watches is Carnation Street? So we go to CS, the relative frequency is a half, so the answer is just a half, that's the probability, because half of the episodes she watches normally are Carnation Street, so we can guess that half um, is the probability that she watches Carnation Street. Okay, second one, if she only watches six episodes one night, how many of each will she watch? So the idea of this is we just multiply um, the Carnation Street, Fair City, East Enders. We multiply the relative frequency by the total amount. So Carnation Street, uh, generally she watches half, um, half the episodes she watches are Carnation Street. And if she watches six episodes in one night, so it's just going to be six times a half. That means she's probably going to watch three episodes of Carnation Street. Then Fair City. And normally she watches four over 12 or one third episodes of Carnation Street. So that means just six times one third. And we'll find out that she generally watches, she, she will probably watch two episodes of Fair City. And then East Enders, uh, she generally watches one over six. Um, so it's just gonna be one episode of East Enders. And again, three plus two plus one equals six. So we can sort of just do a little check. Um, yeah, that's really all there is to relative frequency. It's not, it's not too difficult, they don't ask very difficult question. So just if you get the basic concept, and um, that's all you really need to know. So that's it for relative frequency. In the next video, we are going to look at expected value. So you can use expected value to help gamble and yeah, I guess do stuff like that. So yeah, we'll see you then. Uh, if you enjoyed the videos, as always, like and share uh, and subscribe to the channel as well. So we'll see you then. Bye.